Hey guys, Noelle here. Oh, let's get some, let's change this light a little bit. It's like I can't see what it's doing. Okay, did that make it better? Made it a little bit better. Um, Hey guys, my name is Noelle. A welcome to my channel. If you are new here, I make lifestyle vlogs, home decor, um, some interior makeovers, and a travel vlogs. And we are picking right back up where we did at the end of my, I think I called it like organize with me vlog, but I think that it was two vlogs ago. Um, so I'm trying to stop saying um so much in filler words. It was two vlogs ago. I am not sure if this vlog starts out with Cali footage or if the last vlog ended with Cali footage, but I did just get back um, from Cali. I got back on Tuesday. I mean like super late Tuesday, midnight, basically, um, basically Wednesday morning and it's now the weekend. I had to like hit the ground running. I've had like busy work days all week. So this is the first time I was actually able to pick up my camera and the first time I'm able to jump back into finishing out these organize, organization projects. So I'm doing laundry right now so that I can actually have all my clothes clean and I can finish organizing this dresser and these drawers and I can live with, you know, how it's gonna feel when it's actually fully filled. Um, I keep saying um. So what we're about to do is I'm doing laundry right now, one, because I just need to do laundry. I, I always need to do laundry. And I don't understand that as a single person how I always have to do laundry. But anyway, um, we're gonna do laundry so that I can actually fold all of my clothes and I can finally finish organizing the closet and the dresser because I started, but I had so much I had so much laundry that I needed to do that I couldn't get a real feel for how um, the dresser and the drawers would feel once all of my clothes were were clean and they were full. So we're gonna do that. Laundry is probably gonna take me till the end of the night. And then tomorrow we are definitely working on that garage and finding out what's going on with this rancid smell in the house. My parents are coming for reinforcements because I know that if I find a dead mouse or a rat anywhere, like that's just, it, it's a wrap. Like it's done, pack me up, let's go. So my dad is coming to help, um, my mom's coming to help just because she's literally the cleanest person that I know. But what I'm gonna do before they get here in the morning is I'm gonna really start going through the bins in the garage. I need to buy like really big, like 40 gallon, um, 40 gallon trash bags because a huge part of the problem with the garage is that I just over the years has have filled it up with boxes and boxes of things that one, I don't even know what's in these boxes. I haven't seen or used them in years, so I could throw them away. I probably told myself at one point, oh, you might need this you know, item one day and now it's five years later and I've never gone and looked for half of the stuff that's in the garage. So, we need to start actually going through and throwing away things, but then we also need to transfer anything that I'm going to keep from cardboard box to plastic bin, because that's another problem. Everything out there is plastic. My garage floods, um, my garage leaks, and at some point, there's, there's probably mold that has formed on every single thing in that garage. So we're gonna start that tomorrow. I highly doubt <laughs> that we are going to get this done in one day. This is probably gonna take me maybe like two weekends. But at least with my dad here, I can pull everything from the wall. We can check and see if anything is dead. We can remove it and then I can feel comfortable to actually start going through everything that's in the garage. The second thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reach out to my landlord and I'm going to ask that someone come and actually go up in this attic and make sure that there isn't like a family of dead raccoons or something up there because the, you know what it is? It's not that like, oh, you're sitting here and you're just always smelling the bad smell. But the reason why I know something is wrong is because every time I leave the house and come back, the smell is pungent. Like you can immediately smell it when you open the door. And then my nose, you know, you just, your nose becomes desensitized to the smell of your own home. So 
I'm just, we're done with the house stinking. We've gotta figure out what it is and we've gotta, we've gotta get down to it, okay? Cause I'm not living with dead stuff. I'm not living with a house that stinks when I'm an extremely clean, neat person. <laughs> like, so anyway, that's what we're doing. Um, super low key weekend. Like I said, I just came back from LA. So whenever I feel like I come back from LA or Miami, two things happen. One, I'm like, really 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 reminded that like I really don't want to live in the Northeast anymore like as much as I love New York and I will always come back to New York and if you know God willing I, I step into you know my wealthy era I will buy property in New York like I love New York there's nothing like a New York summer there's nothing like New York's like house music party scene top top tier but let me tell you something the other nine months out of the year eight months out of the year, I don't want to be here. I like, it is so true to me now that I don't want to be here is that it is literally what consumes my thoughts. So that that's number one. And then number two, because I come back and I, you know, all I can think about is the fact that, you know, dag, I, I, I don't want to come back to, you know, this city like not not my home i actually love my home like i love my home i'm super thankful for my home i'm not giving up this home you know but you know then i just feel like i'm in a funk because i'm like it's february in new york and i'm bored there's nothing to do like i can't go outside i can't just go to the beach i can't just i can't do the things that make me happy like so you know i guess we'll just do laundry and clean out garages. stuff <laughs> let's do a haul um if the lighting is a little off it's just because i recently put up a light in the living room and it is a warm glow which i really like but the front window of my house is direct sunlight which typically tends to be a little bit cooler so i feel like they're kind of competing against each other um so yeah i'm just we have just been trying to work on some things when it comes to like not having excuses as to why I can't film in my house because um, vlogging is filming yourself so if you're not filming yourself you're not vlogging anyway I bought a couple of things recently and I figured I'll show you guys but 
you see how like that looks so blue right there? I don't know if it's just me. Maybe it's just me, the feedback. Whatever. Anyway, I went into Aritzia um, mainly because, I, I don't remember, I talked about this in a couple other vlogs, but my main gray sweatpants have a huge hole in them, so I can't wear them outside. Um, I bought some Gymshark sweatpants to try to replace them, didn't like them. I bought a pair from H&M that were more wide leg, which is fine, I kept them, but I really wanted to just replace like, you know, your classic high-waisted um, gray marl sweatpants. So, went into Aritzia looking to replace them, and I did. I got the Cozy Fleece Heather Cloud White, but it's basically just the Cozy, cozy Fleece mega fit this is exactly what i was looking for honestly i was being cheap because i knew that these were at aritzia um i tried the gymshark pair that was 40 dollars first then i went to h&m and i got a pair that was like 25 dollars. i knew aritzia had these and i knew that they would be exactly what i wanted i was just being cheap i got these in a large 75 dollars I was gonna get the matching, you know, they have like all of the mat matching sets. You can get a zip up, you can get a quarter zip, you can get a sweatshirt. Like, I was gonna get a quarter zip, but again, I was being cheap that day because I was just like, wow, are you really about to spend $200 on a sweatsuit when you just need gray sweatpants? But the more I thought about it, I'm gonna go buy that quarter zip. I am. I'm gonna go buy them. But yeah, just a regular pair of gray sweatpants. I love Aritzia. I love Aritzia, and honestly, thank goodness, like, I'm kind of at the the top end of their size, of their sizes. I'm a 10, um, and I kind of feel like their clothes fit a little bit on the slimmer side, a little, you know, they're more straight girl or petite girl friendly um, than, like, curvy girl friendly. So I don't buy a lot of just regular clothing from there, just because... Like I said, I, I feel like they just don't tend to like big boobs, big butt vibes. <laughs> but if I was smaller, like that, Aritz would be such a problem for me because everything in there is like $90 or more. <laughs> so if you want to just get a shirt, you're going to spend $100. Um, but yeah. And then I just love the TNA socks. So I got another pair of TNA socks because I feel like every time I go to LA, a pair of socks goes missing. And I'm trying to get better at wearing socks with my sneakers. I know that sounds really weird, but I just started wearing socks in the last couple of years. And I tend to a lot of times, sometimes still not wear socks on a daily basis. And I'm sure you can understand how problematic that is. So, yeah. Anyway, while I was in there, they had a jean skirt that I wanted. They didn't have it in my size, so I got it ordered. Um, and I, I put off, I put off jumping back on the jean jean skirt trend for like over a year, because you know us millennials like jean skirts. That's actually what I used to wear as a teenager. So I was pushing against it, but I just gave in. I wanted a jean skirt, so. I got the 90s vintage mid-rise pencil skirt maxi jean skirt. That's a mouthful. But yeah, I got this jean skirt. Has a cute little, okay. So in the store, I thought this was in the back. Maybe I just don't remember. But yeah, I like this wash. I just thought it was nice to have this. Like, I've talked about this in other vlogs before, but I work in a field where super casual. I mean, super duper casual. And typically, my uniform literally is, you know, a sweatshirt and sweatshirt with my job logo on it and um, jeans or like black pants. But that becomes extremely problematic in the summertime. And the only stuff that we have in the summer that has our logo on it is literal like cotton t-shirts. And I just feel like that's too casual. Like they literally look like pajama shirts and that's what I wear them as. So I can't wear that to work. So once summer comes around, I have to 
kind of expand my wardrobe a little bit and still wear obviously like work appropriate clothing but also not be like sweating in 90 degrees like in 90 degree weather hence why i can't just wear a sweatshirt and jeans in the summer so yeah thought this would be really good for summertime for work and also just for having it what is this oh okay so I wanted to get a new pair of sneakers. These are the same sneakers everybody has, the Adidas Gazelles. I am jumping on the bandwagon. Um, I used to have a pair of Como de Garcons. My sister lost them. So I'm down one pair, I'm down two pairs of sneakers. My sister lost those and then my Converse's. I had a, a beige pair that I've had for like two or three years and now just like every time I wear them they hurt my feet so much so I just think like all the tread is gone and they're just super uncomfortable um, also my Air Force Ones I wear Air Force Ones every single day for work except for when it's like snowing outside so they get pretty dirty pretty quickly I have to buy Air Force Ones basically like every four months so yeah I was basically down three pairs of sneakers and I was like you know what I'm gonna jump on the bandwagon and get a pair of gazelles. Now, I just bought my size based on the far fetch chart. Cause this is like a men's sneaker, but then other people were also saying that this is like universal. So I don't really know what that means, but I got a six and a half. They look a little big. I probably could have got a six. But I got a six and a half. Yeah, I feel like I could have got a six. We'll try it on though. Anyway, got it gazelles. And what else? Oh, okay. I, like I said, I just got a pair of Air Force Ones, but that, this, this I, have, I have to buy Air Force Ones, like I said, every four months. So yeah, I just got a new pair of Air Force Ones. I think the only other pair of sneaker I'm gonna buy is the, the new, um, collection that they have converse and como de garçons the white ones with the hearts that go across the bottom they're like white beigey my boyfriend got them so i really like them and i'm gonna buy them and then i got some stuff from i got some stuff from sephora i got the dr jart pore remedy mask my skin has been doing very weird things lately like it feels extremely sensitive it feels extremely textured. Um, I get laser hair removal and I feel like lately it's kind of been like rejecting it. So I've been seeing like very small bumps. It's just been doing weird stuff. So I got a purifying mud mask. I also was in need of a serum. So I actually got this serum, the Dream Oasis Deep Hydration. But my sister said to actually exchange this. Focus. My sister said I should exchange this for the CC serum. So she actually gave this to me and she was like exchanging for the CC serum. So that's what I'm gonna do. And that was my haul. That was a long haul. Sorry guys. Yeah. I'll see you in the city tomorrow. Bye.